was I? Oh yeah. We're going to the strip so club. Androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Because you know, sexiest android in town. Looks like just the, the Connor. The fuck are you doing? Looking at her girls. She kind of looks like that girl from Jericho, though. You're not gonna take my license, are you? I, mean, I had nothing to do with this. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey Ben, how's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin is in there too. Oh great. Dead body and an asshole, just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic hat. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh yeah? Wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze, man. Bitch. Night, Lieutenant. Okay. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. <laughs> Well, it's pretty s standard that it's blue blood. That's pretty obvious. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising. Thing on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. How did that get disconnected? and I reacted. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't... Jeez. It Not was like... Kill him. 
No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago, it's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? Better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Hello? A 30 minute session costs $29.99. Please confirm your purchase. This is not yeah, going to look good on my expense account. <laughs> Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? It saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. So, leave in that position would be that guy, and that guy, or this girl. Let's go to this girl. Hey, what am I supposed to do? Let's try this one. This is the easiest one. Return back into the club. Back into the club, that means going towards number 12 and uh, that guy over there and number 12 over there. Fine. It saw the blue haired Tracy. I know which way it went. So I got two minutes. Then go for it. Hold on. There are androids everywhere. So I can't buy these because. Those guys that will take longer. But How I are you gonna tell which one saw the tracing with blue hair? I 
know which direction it took. There she is. Went to the red room. Okay. So I got number twenty seven and that guy over there. option would be number 27. I made a mistake somewhere. Ah, this fat motherfucker! This guy. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Bitch! You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. I don't have enough time. Come on. Fuck his money. to the blue room. Let's go. Where is the blue room? There it is. How do I run? I'm on a time limit here, motherfucker. So I got that guy, that guy. I'm gonna go with this guy over here. Rather, let's go with this guy over here. Why do they all look the same? Hidden alone. Next to twenty two. This room right here. I cannot die. There she is. Ah, oh, fuck. Really? It's 
gonna be a pain in the ass. Shit! We're too late! Not yet. Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. Am I reading this right now? Oh well, goals I guess. People are fucking insane. They don't want really. anymore everybody just gets an Android they cook what you want they screw when you want and you don't have to worry about how they feel next thing you know we're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being it's cool me. Not her. Ow. Fuck. Not the one, okay? Leave her alone. Okay, so she's pretty good at fighting. something what the fuck I did press the right button <laughs> holy shit what the fuck is happening I don't want to shoot
fuck. Please stand down. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat, and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. That's why you squeezed his throat. I just wanted to throat. stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their okay, smell, I like sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Why are we letting them go? It's probably better this way. Escaped. There are other places. Uh, if I shot the deviant, there would be a different ending, I guess. If I lost the fight, that. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. Finally, it's the next day. Fahrenheit on that snow? Yeah, right. Autonomous navigation on... Blah, 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 blah. 68 internal temperature, that is fine. Yeah, why am I focusing on that right now? What the fuck? It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Cool, 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 cool. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Zlatko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. So we're just going there for no fucking reason. Malfunction detecting. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. Where to spend the night? They know where we can stay around here, Carol. Find shelter. I do not like that we're heading to 
Canada right now. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Doesn't matter, we just have to spend the night in. So you know, Alice doesn't die. It's closed. Frozen solid. Yes. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Let's just go find some thing weird to do. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Would you shut up and let me do my thing? Your character needs something to do right now. Could you Here just push it open? The door is cold. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. If it's abandoned, how is this thing here and still working? I'm 
leave the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Anything you want, honey. Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. <sighs> Super, Super C is gonna it's die gonna foreshadowing. Better. So pretty, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? Ew. I have nine thousand children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who. No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different, and that made her very sad. Then she met a robot. Was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met. Another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, loser? Yes. Yes, of course. I love Alice. If anything happens to her, I swear game. Night, Alice. Sleep tight. Don't you? Not right now.
Axe. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Do you remember anything from your life? Before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara. Damn, that's deep. Have you ever... Noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? Jerry, we were working here before the park closed. Then why make didn't uh, mean to frighten you, dramatic but entrance like come that. to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. Come on, Gara! Dangers averted. Hopefully. If not, I'm gonna shoot every one of these motherfuckers in the fucking head. Steven tries to do anything to Alice. Be our guest! Sure, it's abandoned, but it still works. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin! so weird though. She yeah. hasn't had much to smile about lately. 
you gotta give credit when there's good storytelling and this is it. And something's gonna get fucked up real soon. I can see it coming. <laughs> Those people jumping in the background. Okay, we picked the same path, more or less. Okay. <laughs> nice. I thought he liked jazz. Now he's listening to, I think it's alternate rock. This place, nice. Nice view, huh? Yeah. I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? It's just me. I like to piss you off. What or suicide? That's a difficult question. Uh, let's ask I saw a photo yourself. of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. Really? That's your the response have after that? In common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. RA9. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. <laughs> Fuck, what's this world coming to? <laughs> you seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. I don't want to say anything to that. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. Yeah, I didn't. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task? 
You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I doubt there's a heaven for androids. Having existential doubts, Connor? <laughs> sure you're not going deviant too? Maybe I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you I going? I don't want to be spent. Get drunker. <laughs> I need to think. I need a drink. Somebody get me a drink. Hank left Connor alone. Oh, is there a path where he'd actually kill me? Okay, good to know. Showed fear, but I guess he killed you or something. I don't know. Okay. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Access the 47th.
Five 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 eight four seven three three. Eight four seven three three. Cool. Lie about her daughter getting I don't know, sick or something. Causing her to move. Wilson. What else? What is there? Elizabeth Wilson speaking. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. Take ID. I need your help. That was easy. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. So I can just touch people and make them do whatever I want. Excuse me, tiny robot. It's gonna be in one of these bathrooms, isn't it? that's already empty. Cool. I did not wash my hands. Next. 
find utility android. I need your help. <laughs> cool. Robin fire escape. Where's the fire escape? Where are you going? Where's the fire escape? I see the fire extinguished too, so that's the fire escape. Walking Shit. north. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. So I got basically way too much power. That's just. Yeah. All right, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Super Mission Impossible on this bitch.
Hey Google. Hey Google. Hey Google. Stop. Yeah, that didn't do the right thing I wanted it to do. But would have been super cool if it did. Okay? It's impossible. Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Let's do this. This is a super bad idea though. I mean, I respect what they're trying to do, but it's so ill formed. You guys need way many people supporting you and a better, you know, how do you say? I don't know what the right term is, but this would be seen as an act of terrorism and you guys would get destroyed easily. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central, fast! Central, we got armed intruders, Sent. Fuck you, North. I was trying to do something. They know we're here now, you better be fast. Simon's been shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. The guy who doesn't want to kill anyone grabs the gun now. Keep your hands where I can see them! Get up! Move! Shoot him, Marcus! 
Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No. I had to do no. it, sorry. There was no other choice. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Oh fuck. And I have to go Do Marcus, I have to make a face. speech now? Remove skin. Machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. Means of reproduction, right to property. Means of reproduction, right to property. Uh... We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Yeah, that's the fucked up part of your plan, okay? Simon, they're coming! Hi. I can't, Marcus. Go without me! Simon! Schedule 
programming to bring you these images, Dead which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news Dead channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Dead Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place uh, just a few feet from the studio fucking while the program God. was going out Always making me do Everybody here shit. is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids in is this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict. accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Damn, did I make that many choices? Uh, is, was there a way to save Simon? Yeah, I should not have shot the operator. He killed Simon, I'm thinking. Nope. Go find the bitch. Yeah, I really wish there was a running option in here. I didn't want to walk all the way. What's up, bitch? Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. True. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. You seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? I don't know. I don't know. 
I should not. I should be lying to this bitch. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Kala. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Fuck this bitch, I'm gonna lie to her. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Okay. <sighs> You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. Have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. Roof? Yeah, they jumped with him. Parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, it's on that screen. Check CCTV recordings. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. If the FBI would take you over the investigation, you'd soon be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. 
All right, well, let's have a look around. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. something I identified its model and serial number anything else I should know no what the fuck Nothing. why did I lie They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras.
What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a Deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Okay. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Destroyed! yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. The Deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. We know everything. Thing you were here. 
Otherwise, I'd... Connor. Connor, no. I saved my buddy. Oh, I didn't go to the rooftop, did I? Man, there's just so many ways the entire story can end. Damn. There's so many fucking ways this thing could end. You can just play it over and over and over again. Wow, it's past 12 already. Okay, so let's go find some help. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. I don't trust this kid now. He's gonna fuck something up. Or he just does not like animals. Do you think we can trust him? I don't have a choice. your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? about doing anything to Alice I'll fucking chop your head off you got it buddy look at me when I'm talking to you I'm weird Good 
Good night, Alice. I'm fine, Gar. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Don't worry, Alice. These people are going to help us. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. I promise. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Humans are complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? Yeah, it's been like a couple of days. She would have died by now. Get some sleep, and tomorrow you'll be stronger than me. Uh, isn't Luther Q? I'll stay with her a while. Okay, I can trust you now, Luther. Hey, look at me. You sing at a good fucking good night song, okay? A good fucking one. Or maybe tell her a story. Anyone does, but a good one. Okay, night sweetie, take care of yourself. Now what? Time to sneak sneak. No, no sneak sneak. Okay, gotta talk to Rose. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. 
We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Just tell me where to go and I'll Rose, go. come quickly! How may I help? What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Luther, you were supposed to be watching her. What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. Why do you feel sad for characters I just saw she didn't want to stay in her and will room never any see them again? You all right, Kara? It's Kara. Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, oh. No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison. Because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Fucking Adam. Yeah, walk away, bitch. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Wait a minute. How did a fuck up guy like that could afford her when she's like nine hundred dollars? 
That's the dad. See, he looks like a stand-up guy. Then why are you such a bitch? Ooh. It's the police! What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have Hurry, to open the door. Take Alice and hide. I Upstairs. Knew this was gonna happen. Come on, Alice. I knew it. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? for helping in the garden, but we got rid of it. the coffee machine I thought there was no one else in the house uh, uh, I, I forgot there's um there's my daughter upstairs what's your name son Adam my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better head out. Don't worry about the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? 
It's nothing, the, the washing machine. It's an old model, it makes a terrible racket. Step aside, man. Oh, shit. Don't move! In there, with them. percent of the world fuck me shit oh man luther why does everybody i love die our broadcast is all over the news now humans know it was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Yeah, North. Get your head out of your ass. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's enough! And now what are we gonna do? We rise. There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, oh, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I need North to die because all those he's cute sees the I've been waiting type. a long time for this There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. But we'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for?
We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? The surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Ten minutes to do everything. So, let's get... Bitch already saw me. Exactly what we need to run this door. Free now. Nobody should bother us now. Don't waste time on that shit, motherfucker. You'll soon be with us. Where's the fucking drone? How do I get to the drone? You are free. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Yeah, we get it. You hate being a slave. Get to the point without the obvious, you know, badassery. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. Yeah. 
Change of plan? I just want to make sure we didn't forget anything. How do I intercept the drone? Alarm system. Found it. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Watch out! Nice job, Marcus. How do I intercept that fucking droid? Why the jump cuts? I don't get that. You're video game, you're capable of doing all that shit without the jump cuts.
I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. doing something fun. You don't have to obey them. You're free. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them. Or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. Lame. I'm with you. Then follow me. Oh, Marcus, they're literally gonna follow me. I'm gonna send the humans a message. Pacifist or the screens, Marcus. Hijack turtle. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace. And build a better future for humans and animals. They're doing this what they're doing. Is Lead and they'll follow. You can fly. And now the time is coming for you to give up. Choose your symbol. I like the train. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Not be 
violent, my friends. Bitches. Hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Wow, the graphic just died there. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. Shut the fuck up, bitch. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Try 
and make close uh, the crew. Where is my crew? North. All right, what happened? North. They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? against an android shall go unpunished. You made me do this. I just want that on record, okay? I don't want to kill people, but... We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the Cyber Life stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning so. of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? I let up. Okay, so killing people was imminent or something. That didn't matter to the ending. And he's still alive. Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. Hey, I didn't choose to answer that, so shut the fuck up. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. If anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. What's the Turing test? I forgot. Hey Google, what's the Turing test? How does it work? On the website Checkopedia.com, they say, in the original imitation game test, Turing proposes it to be a computer. The computer pretends to be a woman and tricks the interrogator into making an incorrect evaluation. To find out more, look for the link in your Google Home or Google Assistant app. Okay, 
it. Thank you. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Eliza as in Mr. Glass. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. I will try. <sighs> Is that Eliza? Already don't like him. Nice girl. You're right. Amanda. Died twenty three twenty seven. The fuck? How the fuck is it dead when I'm talking to her every day? She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? doesn't raise any existential questions, if that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Like what? You know, for an AI robot, I'm pretty restless. Elijah, we'll see you now. Cool, 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 cool. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. We don't have time to get out of the pool. They all fucking look the same. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? To make an AI won't be. Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. We 
thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you... What do you really want? I believe we're the ones asking the questions. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me, bitch, is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool. to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. It's a pretty An simple obedient answer to be machine. Honest. Our living being, endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Of course I'm not going to show. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. Is itself a deviant? I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. Holy shit. That is an effective test. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, now I like this guy. <laughs> By the I way, hope he, I, hope I always leave an emergency him. exit in my programs. You never know. Okay, I like this guy now. Why didn't you shoot? <coughs> I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Where do I remember Hank from? I feel like he's an actor I've seen before. Okay, I want more of this guy though.
He's fun. Space and we're spending our time down here. Ooh, I'd want to do that in real life. I'd so want to do this in real life. That'd be so fun. I'd be scared of shit, yeah. But it'd be fun. I was wondering where you were. Bitch, let me sit. I just needed to be alone. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. Hello, viewer. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Is. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Oh, they fuck. count on me. I was using my phone. They count on me to show them the way. <sighs> if only they knew how lost I am. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. Something is wrong with this bitch. The she just wants a war. They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? It doesn't matter. I was caring for an old man. But I don't he get is he led a simple life. He showed His me the demons and androids can live. Tragic live. wasn't something too big. What about you? The character change he got. You never told me about your past. What really, did you do before? Doesn't really make I don't sense. Want to talk about it. Car on the other hand would have been a perfect role for this instead. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. Cool. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Yeah, this bitch is crazy. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. If they make out, I'm gonna puke. Left 
you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Bitch, come back. I want answers. Pause for a minute. I'll be right back. <laughs>